In this video, I'll be showing you how to move your user libraries um, from your C drive to another partition. What I mean by user libraries is your documents, music, pictures, videos. So let's say you just bought a new computer or just formatted your new computer. By default, all your libraries are on C. Now the problem with that is once you start filling them up with, with a lot of, you know, bunch of stuff like music and videos and whatnot, um, if you try to format in the future, uh, obviously you either have to back them up first before you format C otherwise you'll lose the data uh, or for example let me give you another example let's say you um, you know you set up your PC and then you use some program like Macrium Reflect or Acronis to image to create an image of your drive so if those folders uh, the libraries were still on C now w when when you save that image it includes those libraries so if you were to restore the, the image later on in the future obviously you lose everything because it'll be overwritten by what was on the image and the, the files which were on the image on C were probably blank at that time so a better idea is to move them to another partition so that when you format or you want to restore your image your personal do documents and files are intact so let's take a look at how to do this you want to launch computer hit this PC go to C users and then you'll find your username. I've created this temporary account here, you know, named Pupusan. So we'll go to that. And here are my libraries. So I like to first clear out these, you know, built-in favorites and built-in folders and pictures and videos. You're gonna see pictures. Well, it's empty, but usually you would have a few folders here, like for capture and whatnot. Just delete those and you know, empty them out. Uh, now what we want to do is we're gonna open a new window for computer, go to D. Let's create a new folder. Now, this is Phoenix, this is my actual account here. I'm not gonna touch that. So let's create a new uh, folder. Let's name it, name it whatever you like here. I'll name it Pupusan as to match the username which I'm working on. Now, this is empty. So wh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a few folders here. So contacts, Finally, we will add favorites. All right, so now that we have these folders here, uh, to make things easier, I'll just place a shortcut for Pupusan on the desktop, and I'll just see why. So what I'm going to do is start with the first one, contacts. Hit on lo hit the tab location, and hit move. And then this is the shortcut which I just placed. So it makes it easier to just you know simply go to where I was. And you want to hit apply, hit yes, and then OK. So you see that the folder has dis disappeared. Let's do this again for all the other folders. Finally, save games. So, as you see, the folders have disappeared. Just leave that 3D objects useless folder there. Okay, and as you notice, the even the icons uh, have changed to you know match whatever the default icon for that folder is in Windows. And there you have it. So you're, now all your data by default or your personal data should be stored by default to libraries. In, in, so yeah, that should be it. Thank you for watching.